My name is Felipe. And my name is Mark. And today we're going to talk about the First Crusade. Three points we're going to cover are the cause of the Crusade, the main outline of the Crusade, and the analysis of Christianity. So sit back and enjoy and learn something new. The Crusades began because the Christians wanted the land that was sacred. The first cause is the preaching of Peter the Hermit. Peter preached to a crusade meeting. He moved all the people of the churches and streets, the fields in Italy and France, telling of the suffering of their family and friends. That moved the hearts and made them want to kill the unbelievers to take the Holy Land. Pope Urban had a great council to conspire. He promised anyone who fought salvation. So he detailed the conquest of the Turks, and now they have Asia Minor in their possession. They threatened Europe from the shores of Hellespont. They also thought it was the will of God at that moment. Everyone got their battle garments to go fight for the Holy Sepulchre. It was August 15th, 1096, when the Crusades began. These are the main events of the First Crusade. This was mostly townspeople, women, men, and children. They didn't have very much armor on, and they set out to fight. This is called the People's Crusade. It was a mixture of poor knights and townspeople, and all the people you could think of. 80,000 people were set out to fight. Peter the Hermit, leading the crusade, led towards Constantinople. Many people died from battling the countries they went through to get to the destination. And many died from, as you probably guessed, from hunger and exposure. The Byzantium Empire set allies to Asia Minor. While all this was happening, greater armies were being created in the West. They were mostly French, so the Crusaders were mostly known as being French. In the Siege of Antioch, there were about 700,000 men fighting. 100,000 which were knights. They first captured Nicaea, then settled out for Syria, and last but not least, the captured Antioch. July 1099, the wrap-up of the First Crusade. The Christians had taken over Jerusalem. Now this wasn't any easy win. Both Muslim and Christian got massacred. The Christians had only won by tactics. They walked three-fourths of a mile with a siege tower to the other side of the walls of Jerusalem, where it wasn't guarded as much. While they were walking, they had almost no defense besides hiding in around the siege tower and the shields they had on. After the Christians got to the spot that almost looked like heaven to them, they planted the siege tower right up against the castle walls and ran up, ran up it. Since most of the Muslims on the walls were archers, they got destroyed. And when the Christians got to the tower, they had won. In the Bible, it says in Judges 1.8, The men of Judah attacked Jerusalem also and took it. They put the city to the sword and set it on fire. How far would you go to survive? If you were hungry, starving I should say, would you eat a baby? Physically kill the baby and eat it. That's how the Christians' troops survived. In Exodus 20.13 it says, Thou shalt not murder. The Christians thought they were told by God to kill and murder everyone they wanted to. But while looking at Exodus 20.13, they were wrong. They also broke another major commandment, and that is found in Exodus 20.15, Thou shalt not steal. When they were raided, when they raided and took over lands, they would they would steal. And again, this was wrong, and they thought they were told by God. 